Welcome back to New York Links. We now have that conversation with Arthur Ashe's widow. Jeannie Motusimi Ash felt her entire family was exposed when her late husband, tennis great Arthur Ash, was publicly outed after contracting the HIV virus from a blood transfusion. Arthur Ash died from AIDS 16 years ago, and now Mrs. Ash is reclaiming her exposed life in a series of nude photos and haiku poetry on display at the Bill Hodges Gallery. Recently, we visited the Black Fine Arts show where we spoke to Jeannie Ash. Donna Mason has the story. We're talking to photographer Jeannie Matusami Ash, the widow of tennis great Arthur Ash. She just concluded a show at the Bill Hodges Gallery on 57th Street, a viewing of 20 black and white images. Ms. Ash, um, thank you for taking the time talking to us. My pleasure. Thank you. Um, yeah, the show you just concluded was called Intimate Portraits. You showed, um, what is it, 13 nude images of yourself? And seven flower, and seven flower images. Image. Yes. Was that an easy decision for you, um, doing a self-portrait nudes? Um, it was not, and I did them just out of my own personal um, curiosity of the challenge of photographing myself. But um, as artists um, express themselves, what's in you just comes out and this was something that I wanted to do. I wasn't exactly sure why I was doing it, but over a period of time, it became very clear to me that I was working out something that had occurred in my personal life 15 years ago. And I came to the conclusion that um, these intimate portraits, even as vulnerable as they made me feel in taking them, were a representation of the vulnerability that I felt 15 years ago when my late husband and myself and my daughter, my entire family um, were what you'd call outed, I guess, in having to um, go public with his uh, AIDS infection, which um, was pretty much a decision that we should have made as a family and not be forced to do from the press. So um, my decision to do this is really a decision stemming from the feeling of vulnerability. And it was my way of, of confronting that myself. 